Welcome and thank you for tuning in to episode number 20 of 10 Tesla Topics, your show for Tesla-related news, rumors, and stories. My name is Max Maurice, and today's show is for Saturday, April 1st, 2017. Topics discussed today are the following. Tesla messaging? More cameras for autopilot? Another Tesla Easter egg? Tesla's expanding in Jordan? And an update on a Tesla fire? Topic number one, I guess, comes from Twitter. And I'm sorry in advance because this this topic here is going to be all over the place. Uh, I didn't write down any notes or something uh, because it is about Elon. He replied to me. Uh, so not the at 10 Tesla topics at Twitter, but at my uh, Tesla attic Twitter. I had asked him, and like I said, this, this topic is going to be all over the place. I got to do a little bit of backstories, backstories and stuff. Anyways, so I tweeted, hey, Elon Musk, great idea with the sketch pad on 8.1. Uh, it's a topic that I'll be discussing a little bit uh, for, uh, later on. Um, where am I here? Great idea with the sketchpad on 8.1. Will it be possible to send drawings or messages to other Tesla owners? To which uh, Elon replied, working on it. Uh, so that was yesterday, uh, Friday the 31st of March. That is the day Elon replied to me. <laughs> I'm still freaking out about it. Um, but yeah, okay, so... Technically, this just to be clear, I want to be completely honest. That's technically not my answer. So I have a friend. Uh, credits to Samara. Uh, she she likes to draw. Uh, she's an artist. Um, and and so when I heard or when I found out uh, that you, technically you can draw in a Tesla, I sent uh, the I think it was the Tesla Roddy um, article to her, and I'm like, hey, you know, blah blah. Ha ha. If you're bored in a traffic jam, uh, you know, you could draw in a Tesla. You should buy this car. And then she she asked me, can you send drawings to other vehicles? And I go, oh, that's I don't, I don't think so. So then I hopped on Twitter, asked him the question. And then I think within like three minutes, he replied. So thank you, Samara, for the inspiration for the question. And thank you, Elon, for answering. Um, however, what does that exactly mean? Um, uh, and then I, I replied to my reply. Um, I said, or I... I Oh, maybe it didn't send. Anyways, uh, anyways, I wanted to ask. I can't see it right now, but I wanted to ask. Uh, so, will there be like a a friends list? Um, so, you know, maybe you know you have a couple of friends with Teslas, and then you want to add them to like my contacts or something. And then from those contacts, you could send messages uh, from Tesla to Tesla, which I think would be super interesting. And that's that's something that I thought about for a very long time. Um, more or less in the in the negative way, and by that I mean, uh, you know, if a car cuts you off or something, I don't know, you could send a message to the person like, "Hey, that wasn't very nice" or something like, nothing too mean. Uh, maybe they have like predetermined messages, like you have options like, "Hey, why'd you cut me off? That wasn't nice." Instead of honking, because everyone honks nowadays. Um, anyways, this this topic's been all over the place, but what do you think? Uh, would that be a good idea to have kind of like a Tesla friends list and kind of be able to communicate through Teslas, um, like through the Teslas, so you're not on your phone, uh, and, and, you know, maybe it's like on a road trip, you could be like, uh, just from the, from the touchscreen, you could quickly just draw or, you know, write, uh, be there in five minutes. Uh, instead of you know going through your Bluetooth, going through all all the hassle just to um, find, you know trying to contact your friends uh, in a Tesla road trip or something. So let me know down in the comments if if that's something you could see happening. Uh, Elon Musk says he's working on it, um, but uh, what what do you think about it? All right, sorry about that long topic. I promise the other topics won't be as long. So topic number two comes from Electric. So Tesla's 8.1 software update released this week is a big one for Autopilot. Chris Latner, Tesla's vice president of Autopilot software, said so himself on Twitter. He says 8.1 is the biggest update yet for Autopilot uh, hardware 2 cars. So it's the biggest jump for Autopilot uh, for, for the speed limit, and Tesla is now using two cameras instead of just the one out of the eight cameras uh, on the cars equipped with the Autopilot hardware 2. So the update increased the speed of auto steer uh, from 55 miles per hour to 80 miles per hour uh, to make it, you know, more useful on highways. And early tests uh, show that the performance is now pretty comparable uh, to the first generation autopilot, which is great uh, because it, they're not quite there yet. 
but uh, they're, they're pretty close to having the Autopilot 2 uh, more on par with the Autopilot 1, if you, if you will. Topic number three comes from Electric. Uh, so with the release of the 8.1 software update, Tesla also hid an Easter egg uh, in the update and owners found it pretty quickly. So if you're new to the show and or to the Tesla world, Teslas have some uh, little secrets uh, throughout the car. And so here are a few examples. So last Christmas, Model X owners got a little gift where they uh, could activate their Model X to perform a light show, a a Christmas-themed light show, which was pretty cool. Uh, Another one is while your Model X or S is locked and charging, uh, you can press the button on the charge handle 10 times and you'll activate a rainbow charge port, uh, which is, I mean, pretty cool, you know, like they don't have to do these Easter eggs, but, but they just do. And another one that I'll just mention is, uh, you know, staying on the rainbow theme, uh, you can turn on the road on your dash into Mario Kart's rainbow road by pulling the autopilot stock four times. There are a few others, uh, so if you'd like to see them all, just search Tesla Easter eggs uh, in Google or YouTube, uh, and they'll all pop up. They're, they're pretty neat. Anyways, the new one is a little different since it's an interactive one. So by tapping three times on the Tesla logo at the top of the center screen, it unlocks a sketch pad. Now, this is the Easter egg that I was talking about um, in the topic number one, uh, where Elon replied to my tweet. So yeah, so like I said, you could draw little doodles uh, or whatever. And, and once you're done, you can tap on publish and you receive this message. And Tesla's always funny with their messages, eh? But also, uh, it actually sends your sketch uh, in a file to Tesla. And here are a couple that uh, Elon actually saw and tweeted about. Topic number four comes from Tesla Roddy. So just six weeks after Tesla began selling their vehicles in the United Arab Emirates, Tesla has added Jordan to the list of Middle East uh, countries where customers can buy a Model S and Model X. So according to an email Tesla Roddy received from a Tesla spokesman, quote, Jordan has been chosen to offer Tesla vehicles due to the country's extensive interest and support for electric vehicles. Last year, the Jordanian Jordanian, uh, government has uh, made strong commitments to sustainable transport. This, along with other interests from pioneering owners who have already imported Model S and X vehicles into the region, has highlighted a strong demand for the brand. So people in Jordan can now order their Tesla online through their website or in person at a new pop-up store located in the upscale multi-purpose shopping complex Taj Lifestyle Center uh, in Amman. Like in all Tesla stores or galleries, Tesla representatives will educate potential buyers on the benefits of electric uh, vehicles and guide um, you know, their potential buyers through the ordering process. And the first deliveries are supposed to arrive this summer. Topic number five comes from electric. So in October, Philip Coates from Manchester parked his Model S 70D at his mother's house um, without plugging in the vehicle for charging. He told Electric that about an hour later, he realized that his Model S was on fire and he called the local fire department. They were able to extinguish the fire since, extraordinarily, the battery pack didn't catch on fire, which of course would have been much uh, more difficult to stop. But either way, the damages uh, were pretty brutal and left his Model S completely destroyed, as you can see here. Coates' insurer investigated uh, and told him that they tracked the origin of the fire to a condenser for the BMS, uh, which is located behind the bumper near the wheel well. Since the vehicle was under warranty, Coates assumed that Tesla would pay uh, to have to replace it, but they wouldn't and claimed that uh, the cause was most likely damage that occurred in an accident prior to the fire. A Tesla spokesperson sent Electric the following statement. Tesla commissioned an independent investigator to determine the cause of the fire. We concluded that the fire in all probability occurred due to damage related to an earlier crash that the vehicle has been involved in. The accident happened over two months before uh, the car caught on fire. According to Coates, it was a relatively small uh, or minor accident. He tells Electric, I was approaching a roundabout and the person in front of me stopped for no reason. Uh, at all while I was looking to see if any traffic was coming and collided with him. The impact was around 10 miles per hour. The front bumper and the hood were damaged, but the vehicle was drivable, and he said the autopilot worked, uh, but the parking sensors didn't. 
The Model S was brought to a Tesla-approved shop to conduct the repairs. And eventually, the repairs uh, were completed on September 23rd and were really mostly aesthetic. The Model S caught on fire two weeks later on the 8th of October 2016. So Coates says that his insurer dismissed the idea that the fire was caused by damages that occurred during the accident. Either way, they paid Coates back and he was able to buy a new Tesla. So I guess kind of a good ending to the story. Alright, so those are your five Tesla topics for Saturday, April 1st, 2017. For any questions, remarks, or even criticism, I encourage you to follow the show's Instagram and Twitter pages at 10 Tesla Topics. The links are in the description below. If you wish, you can also send me an email at 10 tesla, at tesla topics at gmail.com. That's T E N T E S L A T O P I C S at gmail.com. But be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube to never miss an episode. And feel free to comment down below if you have ever anything to say. We'll see you right here next Tuesday for the next show. Thank you for listening. And of course, have yourself a model excellent day.